In this video, I will show you how you can connect your Pabli subscription account with Twilio so that whenever there is a checkout that happens on your Pabli subscription account or whenever there is a purchase made on your Pabli subscription account, you will get an SMS notification on your mobile. The interesting thing about this integration is that you can not just get the notification for the successful payment but if you want you can also define an integration for any cancellations so that you can get an sms for subscription cancellations or if there is an upgrade or downgrade happening within your account you can also get an sms notification for that the interesting thing is the whole integration between pabli subscription billing and twilio sms is going to happen through pabli connect and I will be explaining the process on how you can do the whole integration yourself. The first step that you have to do is you have to go and log in into your Pabli payment, Pabli subscription account. The second thing that you have to do is you have to click on the settings menu right here. And under the settings menu, you can see that there is a webhook option that is appearing right here. Okay. Now webhook is the way to send your data to a different application so that any Thing that is going to happen within your Pabli subscription account, it will be notified to a separate application uh, through the help of webhooks. Okay. Uh, in a separate window, what I have done is I have opened accounts.pabli.com, which is like a dashboard that you see when you log in for Pabli for the first time. And inside this dashboard, you can see the connect application appearing right here. You can just launch this application by clicking the access now button. So currently we have opened two different application. One is the Pabli subscription application and second is the Pabli connect application, which will be, which we will be using for doing all the integration. The next thing that you have to do is you have to click on create new workflow. Now this is an automation workflow that we are setting up between Pabli subscription billing and Twilio with the help of webhooks. Okay. So the workflow name can be Pabli. Pabli subscription billing to Twilio. Okay. So this means we want to set up an integration between Pabli subscription billing uh, and Twilio. Okay. Uh, once you do that, there is a trigger pop up that op opens up. And in that trigger, you can see that there is a webhook trigger that you can send to Pabli connect. So what you can do is you can simply copy this webhook URL. This is the webhook URL, which is provided by Pabli connect. And we will be pasting this uh, webhook URL inside the Pabli subscription account so that whenever there is an event that happens inside Pabli subscription billing, it will automatically be notified to Pabli connect with the help of this URL. Okay. So we are just going to click on webhooks and I'm just clicking on create new webhook. And then inside this, I'm just pasting the entire webhook URL right here. Okay. Uh, now there are certain events in which you want to run this uh, run this entire process. So I'm just selecting the successful payment event that I want to notify this URL whenever there is a successful payment that happens inside the Pabli subscription billing account. So I just chose one event, but if you want, you can choose multiple events as well. And once I do that, I'm just creating a webhook. Okay. So the entire process is now done. Uh, we have now connected the webhook URL and now we are going to run a test uh, purchase to see if the entire data is reaching the Pabli connect account or not to do the test purchase. I have already created a product and inside a product, there is already a plan that has been created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the checkout page to complete this purchase. Uh, if you want, you can also do a real purchase uh, by making a plan, which is like $1 or maybe like 50 cents or something. Uh, in this case, what I have done is I have gone to the settings panel and I have uh, added a test card, which is like a test payment gateway to make sure that I can do the entire things using a test payment gateway. So the checkout page is open. Now I will just fill the details and I will just check out now. Okay. Uh, so I'll just fill the details. Neeraj Agrawal. I'll just write my email as neeraga at gmail.com. My company name is Pabli. Street address is So I just wrote and everything is ready. Uh, I just chose test card here. If you really want to do it with live data, you can also do that. 
but I just press the success button. And before doing the checkout right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the Pabli Connect and I'm clicking on capture webhook response. Now what this will do is this will just wait for the response response to come so that we can now set up the workflow according to our requirement. You will just enter, understand the entire process in just few minutes. But for now, I'm just clicking on capture webhook response. Now this is actually waiting for the webhook response to come. So since my everything is already filled up, I'm just pressing the checkout button and it says that thank you for your purchase and the entire process is completed. Now you will see that the webhook response is immediately uh, filled up inside the Pabli Connect account. You can see that the transaction has been succeeded and you can see different details appearing right here like the customer name, the customer email address and the address, the city name, the state name and all those kind of things like the payment method full name, uh, the credit card number and all those details are filled up right here. Okay, so this means all the data has been successfully captured by Pabli Connect. For now, I'm just closing this webhook response data so that uh, it does not look good. It, it, it does look good. Uh, and now I'm going to set up the Twilio API after this webhook. So basically in first step, we have already captured the data from Pabli subscription billing. In the next step, we are just going to integrate Pabli and Twilio together. So what we are going to do next is we have, we have we have to just click on this plus button to add a new uh, software for integration. Inside this choose app, you can basically select any app that you want to use. We have couple of uh, couple different applications right here. We are actually adding up more than 200, 300 applications within this uh, box as soon as possible. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just selecting Twilio. So the Twilio application has been selected. The method is send SMS message. So we actually want to get an SMS message for each successful payment. So I'm just selecting the send SMS message right here. And then I'm just going to connect my Twilio account. So I'm just clicking on connect. And when I click on that, it says you need to enter your account SID and your authorization token. Click here to get the account SID and auth token from your Twilio account. Okay. So I'm just clicking on this URL that has been provided by me. Uh, this requires you to have a Twilio account already set up, but uh, on this page, we have already set up everything. So this is my account SID. I'm just copying this and I'm just pasting this SID right here. And this is my auth token. So I'm just copying the auth token and I'm just pasting the auth token right here. It also asks for some parameters. Enter your account SID again that you entered earlier above. So this was my account SID. So in fact, if you want, you can copy the account as ID from here uh, and I'm just pasting the account as ID right here again. Okay. Once everything is done, I'm just clicking the save button. Okay. And as you can see, uh, my Twilio is now connected. Now it is asking for the body of the message. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the body of the message uh, that I will be receiving. It is asking for the sender number. It says the approved sending number in your Twilio account and the recipient number on which you want to receive the SMS. Okay. Uh, the body of SMS can be a uh, new purchase made and I'll just mention few detail name of the person. So name of the person is name colon and I can basically select any of the data that we received earlier through this webhook uh, by this plus sign. Okay. By this, uh, by this three, three lines. So I will just click on these three lines uh, and I will select the name of the person who made the purchase. So you can see the shipping address name also has my name. Uh, it, the payment method email has my email address. Uh, the data transaction first name is here. The last name is here. So either way you can choose any of these things. But in my case, I'm just using the payment method full name, which is Neeraj Agarwal. It will not fill and give you this data. It will just give you the value of this. Uh, uh, segment. So I'm just using who purchased this and I'm also mentioning the email address. So the email address of the person who made this purchase is right here. Payment method email. Let me see if I want any more data. So I will also include the plan which has been purchased. So I will include this Pabli email verification 5000 email. 
So now I will actually get an SMS with the name of Neera Jagarwal, the email address of neeraga at gmail.com and the plan name. And one more thing, let me include the person's country of purchase as well. So let me just see if I fill that up. So it says IN, which is like stands for India. So I'll just include the country name as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just going here and I will just include. So you can include as many details as you want. Uh, if you want less details or if you just want to let you know, you can also write just new purchase made and you can leave everything blank. In this case, I just included the name of the person, the email address, the plan that has been purchased and the country through which this purchase has been made. Next, I have to enter a sender number. Okay, sender number is something that has been verified inside your uh, Twilio account because, um, because to send an SMS, you need a number. Uh, let me just see which number has been verified inside my account. So let me just see. In fact, this was the from number that has been verified inside my account. So I'm just going to use this. Okay. And it says the format should be like this. So I'm just writing plus one, seven, six, three, seven, six, two, nine, eight, double, seven. So this is my sender number. This needs to be verified inside your Twilio account and then the recipient number where you want to receive the message. So I'm just writing my number and, and I'm just saving this entire, uh, entire workflow. No, now I will just send a test request and this will give us a success whether the entire connection has been succeeded. So I'm just making a test request and you can see an SID has been generated and SMS has been sent. Uh, from this number to this number and this is the body. Uh, it says new purchase made name Neeraj Agrawal. Uh, email is this and this and everything is really uh, right here. It also says everything like the price unit is USD and everything like that. But you don't have to do anything here. You just have to pay, press and save the entire workflow. So basically now this workflow has been automatically saved. And whenever there is a purchase that is going to happen through this checkout form, okay, whenever there is a purchase that happens through, in fact, any checkout page, you will get an SMS notification on your mobile uh, about this purchase. Okay, so this is the entire thing that you have to do to integrate Pabli subscription billing to Twilio. And as you can see, we have now integrated and saved the workflow and we have made it live. So now everything is saved. Uh, just to show you that everything is working fine, uh, I'm just going back and I'm clicking on usage. Okay. Uh, and you can basically see. Um, let me just show you the locks so that you can see that the message has arrived. So you can see that this is from this number to this number. This has been sent on this date. I'm just clicking on this message. And you can see new purchase made name Neera Jagrawal email address is this. This is the plan and this is the country. So this means this SMS has been successfully sent. Now what I will do is I will just try and make another purchase through a different name. It says Pankaj Agrawal Pankaj Guna at gmail.com Pabli and I'll just write the name and email as this. Those 203C block Bhopal India four six two zero seven eight okay so I'm just making another uh, test purchase to see if the workflow is now actively working and I'm just checking it out it says thank you for your purchase I'm going back to this uh, section, uh, section again uh, so you can see the last message was sent on 2387 I'm just refreshing and reloading this page and you can see that another SMS is now delivered at 240 24 I'm just clicking on this and you can see new purchase made name Pankaj Agarwal email address and plan and the country of this person. So as you can see that we have now connected Pabli subscription billing with Twilio. It is a very simple process. You just have to use Pabli connect in between to integrate two different applications together. And whenever a checkout is made, you will get a notification. 
Now the interesting thing is it, it is not just the purchase email that you can message that you can get. If you want, you can also get messages for upgrades, downgrades, uh, any cancellations or all those kind of thing. You just have to create a webhook uh, accordingly and based on that, you can basically receive the message as and whatever you want. So thank you for watching this video. I do hope that you might have learned how to get uh, messages through uh, Twilio and uh, Pabli subscription together. So thank you for watching.